it looks like a movie and the quality is insane and it's not because Nico and I shot this one. So we really just had a few more things to film for the music video for Death of Trap. We're making a body bag. A fake body and we're stuffing it in a body bag. Last week, uh, we had to make fake drugs. This week, we gotta make a body. We wanted the same team that we had in last week because it just came out so amazing. Brandon and Mark came into town. Get that out of here, we don't rep brands. We don't rep brands? This is my favorite brand. <laughs> I'll rep this brand all I want. We asked Mark to bring his drone. We wanted to get some cool flyover shots in the junkyard. Mark didn't know, but the drone wasn't working, so he had to figure out how to fix it. Mark had to YouTube engineer the drone, and he took it apart, fixed it. He needed a specific hex key that he didn't happen to have on him. So, me and Kyle checked both of our houses, nothing. We went to Home Depot looking for the right hex key. <laughs> so we went to Home Depot and bought a ton of different little screws. <laughs> Ton of different little screwdrivers to see if any of them fit. But now we're in a race against the clock because we have to get to the junkyard to film this scene before sundown. Mark is outside waiting for his drone to calibrate and it's just not working. At the last second, right before we were about to leave, it started lifting off the ground and we were able to use it for the shoot. Look how this, they look walking off into the sunset. And so goes the tale of Brandon and Mark. Two friends at a junkyard. And they lived happily ever after. This is Morgan Freeman <laughs> signing off. So Nico and I were carrying a body through a field and I had to look like 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 the part, like I was the killed someone and we were pulling them through the field. And as soon as we Dropped him and Nico kicked his head. I couldn't stop laughing. I can't. And uh, so Mark showed me this technique and he had me hyperventilating so that I would stop laughing. And it, and it worked. Look at me. Let's go. Keep going. You getting dizzy? Yeah, a little bit. You dizzy? There were lots of weeds and stuff, and I am so freaked out by ticks. So, um,. I kind of spent, you know, between me and Kyle, it, it took a lot of time to get some scenes done because Kyle would start laughing and then I would start checking myself for takes. Okay. <laughs> if you see me spazzing, it's because I think there's one though. We're still rolling. We went over to Adam's house and he let us film a scene back there where we're burying a body. Once again, thank you to Adam for letting us use the junkyard and his field. The entire music video is because he let us use his property. So me and Kyle start digging and we're recording it. And then, you know, digging an actual grave would take a very long time. So we said, cut, had him brought the tractor in. One minute we had a hole that was three or four feet deep. And then we went back in there with the shovels and acted like we dug the whole thing. How did it go? Today, the shoot was fucking insane. And everything was just flawless. The film crew we got is fucking crazy. And this shit's gonna look like a movie. Rumble hit 500,000 plays. Thank you so much, everybody. What's up, y'all? If you want to see what these two kids are doing, make sure you like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. There will always be links in the video description down below. Good job, Brandon. Good job.